Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in seven days to die. Okay, guys. It is day 21, which means we're going to have a horde tonight. Oh, well, we've been working on the house all night long. Had to kill a few zombies, but that's, that's pretty normal. Get up here, check on our forge. Aha. All right, guys. We are going to put us uh, some iron bars around this top. Let's see here. Okay, hold on. What do we got? Let's switch to this. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I was having a little bit of a brain fart there. And I was wanting to make sure that I was... What? Oh, there's a candle there. I was wanting to make sure I was... uh going to turn that right because I hate when I accidentally place those and they're not in the right spot. Aha. Well, let's turn that light off. It's a little bit bright. And we have one extra. Um, wheel? I guess we'll just throw it right there. That ought to work. Let's see these candles. Um, no. That was completely the wrong direction. There we go. Still want a little bit of candlelight, even though I know it's not going to do a whole lot for us. Uh, no again. And I keep hitting the wrong button to open up my inventory. Because whoever thought of, you know, using I to open up your inventory, I mean, that's... That's just unheard of. I do know, I know tab is easier to use, it's quicker right there, but you know, I always had my inventory keyed up on my mouse which I probably need to just go ahead and do that again but tab does so many different things in other games so if I don't remember to change it back every time and then yeah it's always a mess always a mess always a headache alright guys well as you can see We've upgraded some of our spikes, not all of them. We've got our iron bars ready. And keep hitting I again. And I got some bobbed wire. I think we're going to throw down a little bit of bobbed wire. Probably going to need to make some more. I only, only got so much of it. Let's see, how many do I got? 20? Let's... You know what, let's go ahead and make another 20 of them. And we'll place some of these down. Okay. We'll at least line the front of it with bobbed wire. And we'll leave a little gap right here for right now while we're working on things. And we'll fill that in later. Awesome. Now, how many am I going to have left here? About 18. Okay. We'll just do nine like that. We'll do the other nine, and then I'll make three more for the front. Come 
Now we're going to test this out to see if it's, you know, worth it or not. I know the barbed wire will slow down the zombies, but will it slow them down enough for me to shoot them and kill them and keep them off the spikes? That is the important thing. I don't know. I don't know how many times I'm going to open up that. Let's see here. Go ahead and make another three. And I'm going to need three log spikes. Actually, you know what? Instead of making those, let's just go ahead and make three. We'll make three of the scrap iron spikes just, just because. We'll line the middle with evilness. Alright, let's see. We need, we need some more wood. Alright guys, well I'm going to speed the video up here. I'm going to go gather some wood and we'll be right back. trees we got some rocks got a little bit more metal and we got some more feathers so we are crafting more arrows right now so far I think we are looking pretty good for this horde I don't want that I don't want that yeah I'm feeling fairly confident here guys Hello, Mr. Zombie. And we missed. I only think he knows we're here. Still doesn't know we're here. Now he does. Okay, we'll take a little duct tape from you. I don't know what it is, guys, but it seems like every time I need a bird's nest, I never can find one. I know there's a bunch of them around the house, but for whatever reason, I just couldn't see them. I guess, I don't know if it was because of the rain and the slight, like, haze fog. See, like, right here, bird nest. It was empty, but... 
why normally when I find a bird nest, if it's around my base, I try to punch the grass around it. That way I can remember, hey, look for the uh, bald spots or the, you know, grassless spots. And we'll be good. Oops. Can't type here today. You know, I think we're going to make a little bit more of the barbed wire. Just because I don't know which direction these dudes are going to come from. And, well, that's... That's a pain. I mean, because if they come from, you know, slightly back here... They're going to run past my barbed wire and it's not going to do no good. All my spikes are going to get messed up. So we're going to try to prevent that a little bit. And we also need to make a new bow. Since we'll craft up all these arrows. But all in all, we are looking good, guys. Like I said, I'm still feeling fairly confident here. And I think... Just to put the uh, odds a little bit more on our favor. I think we're going to go ahead and make up some candy tin mines. Love candy tin mines. Okay, wait a minute. Why do we have... Oh, we can make the tins now. Really? Can I make the air filters? I need a workbench to make the air filters, though. Oh, tell me I don't need a can... I need a workbench. Did I learn the workbench? Yes, I did. Okay, so we can build us a workbench. I need a wrench. I need a hammer, some mechanical parts, and forged iron. That's not a whole lot of mechanical parts. And... Well... I'm not seeing any extra wrenches or anything either. I think I actually sold them. Oh no, I have a wrench right here. That's still a bit of a problem. Okay, well I guess we're not going to do the candy tin mines. That is... That is a bit disappointing. You know what? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We just got to run over to the traders. So let me run over there real quick. I wish I would have thought of that a minute ago. It's kind of wasting our time a little bit. But I think those candy tin mines are important enough that we probably should get some made up. And I know I have couple air filters and I might have a couple hubcaps and all that but I'd rather save those for the bigger meaner hordes this just being the third day or the third seven day horde it'll be more intense than we've had in the last two but it should still be pretty manageable especially with the addition of uh the barbed wire and the mines that should make it pretty manageable now I'm not sure what all comes in this horde but I'm, I'm thinking that we're going to end up with cop zombies this time around which those are usually the ones that I worry about in the horde at least when I'm up high I'll sell you goods but if you cross me, you'll meet No, I don't need you. I need your bench. That's what I came over here for.
really, I needed duct tape and I didn't bring my duct tape. I swear, guys. It, you know, I hate it when they change recipes because I was so used to, you know, little scrap metal, little candy tin, little gunpowder, boom, candy tin mine. That used to be the recipe. Ever since they thrown in the whole, oh, let's put duct tape into it. I can't remember for the life of me to remember to grab the duct tape. So, I think that's what we're going to do. Is I'm going to grab the duct tape. I'm going to put down the mines. And then we should be ready for, for the horde, guys. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it, guys. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. We'll take on the horde. I'll, I promise you I'll have the mines made up. We'll have them put down. I'll have the, you know, I have some more bobbed wire put down. We will get this place secured. So be sure to come back. Check that out. It should be a good one. But I do hope everyone has enjoyed today's video. If you have, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It's an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself, guys. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you use. And guys, I cannot thank y'all enough for all of your wonderful support, all the comments, all the likes all the subscribers and all the videos shared guys it is awesome i do appreciate it and i do want to thank each and every one of y'all and with that being said until next time survivors keep on surviving